Hello and welcome to the 2020 CBU Women's Basketball Virtual Tip-Off. I'm your voice of the Lancers, Braden Bell. I'm down here at the AT&T Fan Zone, joined by college basketball royalty, coach of the North Carolina Tar Heels, Roy Williams. I'm Bill, and this is my best friend, Braden. I don't even need to intro it. This man does it all. Bill Walton, you see him here. So I got to ask you, Bill, you said we're in San Antonio, a great city, the River Walk. What do you think of them as a host city so far? Very interesting Final Four. Three of these four coaches, their first trip to the Final Four. So let's go back to 1991, your first journey with Kansas. What was that experience like for you? You guys are a fun group as well as being talented on the floor. So we'll get away from <laughs> basketball for a moment. The WAC, you mentioned it, being a very interesting league, but not only on the floor, also just geographically. You can go as far north as Seattle, as far east as Chicago, everything in between. So when you guys go out on the road before COVID, so we'll talk last year, the year before, when you could leave the hotel and go explore these cities, I want to know each of you, starting, starting with you, Brittany, your, your favorite road city in the WAC and your favorite thing to do in that city. Oh. Who's the biggest foodie on the team? Coaching-wise or player-wise? Either. Um, I think Georgia. Georgia. <laughs> oh my God, I had to say me. She casually just threw that out there, but, yes. but you are but I don't choose the places. I just okay. agree. Okay, very agreeable. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Brittany, I, I hate to do this to you. I'm going to expose you just a little bit, but okay. I've been told by very well-trusted sources that you have a extraordinary talent. You can fall asleep anywhere for any amount of time. Yes. This is true? Okay. Is so I'm glad true. I wasn't lied to. <laughs> so how much sleep do you need per night? Are well, we talking like six, seven hours, nine, ten? You got to go up more. More. Some game day here in Minneapolis, Texas Tech and Virginia will tip off at about 820 local time tonight over at U.S. Bank Stadium. The storyline, it really couldn't be better. Critical stretch of the season for ASU with five of their last seven games on the road. The Devils are going to have to win away from Tempe in order to put themselves in good position for the NCAA tournament. Now moving on to 2020, Coach Olson and this team full of talented and experienced vets will look to make the next step in competing for a WAC title. It's time to meet your 2020-2021 CBU women's basketball team. We've both had bumps so far in our first two top <laughs> plays. G. Juarez had no bumps in this game. A no-hitter against BYU. She's been phenomenal all year long for the Sun Devils, but this was perhaps her best moment so far at least. No hitting the BYU Cougars. Look at all those zeros up there on the scoreboard of Farrington. Beyonce once said, if you like it, you should have put a ring on it. Zahid Valencia loves wrestling. Put a ring on it. Won the national title. 32-0. I mean, the man was literally perfect. Give him a lot of props and a big time moment for him. A pretty easy decision to be the top play of the year. The preseason favorites in the Western Athletic Conference. Ladies, thanks for joining me today and good luck this season. Thank, Thank you. you.